Hi there. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to split a string in Java. And we can split a string by character or split a string by words. We'll look at both. We're going to look at simple string manipulation because it's a common task. Quite often, we're asked to take a string and manipulate it character by character. That means we need to know how to split a string character by character in Java. Or, more often, we're asked to split a Java string representing many words, and we'll need to look at it word by word. The classic example for this is CSV files. The CSV stands for character separated values. Sometimes you'll hear it called comma separated values. Either way, we need a method to split Java strings. First, let's look at splitting Java strings by character. What that means is if we're given the word hello, we want to access each character. That's H, E, L, L, and O. We'll start by creating a string with a literal value hello. To get an array of characters from the string, we'll call the method to character array. This takes our Java string and returns an array of characters. Let's assume we're asked to reverse a string. And for this exercise, let's assume we don't know about the reverse method in String Builder. If we want to do this in a production program, we'll do something like this. But let's do it manually so we can get a feel for manipulating strings character by character. The first thing we want to do is convert our string to an array of characters. Now, we can't manipulate the string since it's immutable, but we can move things in place in our array. Our plan is this. We'll take the first character and swap in place with the last character. We'll keep moving the index in our array and swap the last position minus our index. So, 0 gets swapped with the last position, 1 gets swapped with the second last position, and so on. Now, if we don't stop halfway, we'll reverse the string and then we'll reverse it again. So, we need to stop in the middle. We'll get the last index, which is the length minus 1, since we're working with a 0 based array. And the middle is just half of that. Now we'll iterate over our array, swapping characters. Finally, we'll make a string with our character array and return it. So if we start with this is a test, the method will return reversed. We can also access characters in a Java string using the character at method. The character at method returns the character at the position specified in the Java string. We could simply reverse method by iterating the string backwards and then add each character to an empty character array. This method doesn't need a swap, so it's a bit easier to read. Let's look at bigger things, like let's split a Java string. Assume we want to remove stop words from a sentence. Stop words are words which aren't significant for use in search queries. To make our example simple, we want to remove the word the from the sentence, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Our result should be quick brown fox jumped over lazy dog. To break up a Java string, we need to call the split method. This splits the Java string into a string array. We're passing a space character to the method, which is telling Java we want to split our Java string by spaces. Next, we'll add each word that's not the to the string, build, string builder. If we had more stop words, we'd test each word against a set. But for our simple example, we just want to manipulate the sentence one word at a time. When we're done, we'll ask our builder to build a Java string and return it. This removes our stop word from our sentence. So going back to our original thought, how do we split a Java string by character, say a comma or a pipe? That's what we'd need for CSV parsing. Say we have a long string representing a single line in a CSV file. A comma separates every value in the string. How would we split this string? Well, we do it almost the same way. Remember in the Java string split method, we pass the method a blank space. If we wanted to split the Java string using another character, we'd pass a different character. So in this case, we'd pass a comma to the split method. This would give our CSV values in an array. We can split our Java string on any character. If you're looking closely, we're passing a string to the method, not a character. The reason is, technically, we're passing a regular expression. We'll cover regular expressions in depth later, but what we need to know now is some strings won't work. For example, if we need to split a Java string by a period or a dot, this gets a bit tricky. Periods and regular expressions match any single character. That's not what we want. If we place a period inside the string and then try to split on it, it won't work. In this case, we need to escape the period like this. The key point to note is this is a regular expression, not just matching a string. Now, despite all this, we can pass a string to the method and split on the string. We're just using an example as a regular expression, not a pattern. 
For example, in our stop words method, we could pass the word stop word the and split our string and then recombine it like this. Of course, this makes the spacing a bit wonky, but you get the idea. In this case, we're breaking the string into two, dividing on the word the. So that's how we split Java strings. We can access individual characters either with the character at method or splitting the Java string into a character array. And we can divide strings based on regular expressions, usually a simple string. Hopefully you'll find this useful in your Java programming. If you have any questions, add them to the comments below. And if you got this far, hopefully you liked the video. If so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next tutorial.